So um, in the pharma world and in, in the state of science right now, we have a lot of diagnostics. Yes. And it's possible to know a lot of things, but they're not put into practice. I mean, we, we don't know everything, right? The doctors no, we, don't know everything. No, we don't know everything, but uh, we have a big know-how in diagnostics and it's coming yeah, more data every day. And what we want to use, we want to use this data out of diagnostics and translate it into therapy. And of course the doctors have to know all these uh, yeah, algorithms or um, vital data, but if the, the doctors are provided with this data, giving him the opportunity to give the, yeah, to calculate then the exact dosage, it was help the patients a lot. So personalized medicine is putting the, yeah, the patient in the centric, giving him exactly the dosage he needs. So for sure in the way that doctors work today and in the way they have diagnostics today, there's a lot of potential in what you're doing already. Abs absolutely, and uh, still the doctor is the one deciding on, on the dosage, so um, he is the one deciding giving the patient the right, the, the right pill, the right ingredient, the right dosage. And is it possible to use AI for yes. this? Yes, of so course, how is it to used? developing the, the algorithms. If we know um, which factors are um, important for the effectiveness of the drug, so AI would help a lot to develop the right algorithms. Because you input the weight, you input the size, you input the what? The, the metabolism, so the kidney function, the liver functions, whatever. So, uh, and, and even- Blood tests. Blood tests and even, uh, yeah, en environmental, um, yeah, circumstances, habits, uh, for example. Is it possible that something like a smartwatch that would have maybe a, a humidity sensor, a, a, a heart yeah, rate sensors, yeah, I could think of all for, this could for, be incorporated? For some, yeah, for some indication would help a lot. And then automatically you would print out customized exact but there's still a lot of margin for improving the understanding of exactly who needs what, no? Oh, of course, of course, still. But is there like a, a requirement to do it differently now that you can dose everything precisely? Do we, do, does the industry need to understand something differently now, maybe potentially? Uh, yeah, to, to, yeah, today we have just, yeah, the dosage forms uh, pharmacos produce, so 10 milligrams, 10, 20, 30, and we are aiming at to, to get you 8 or 12 milligram or uh, 45, whatever you need. And uh, so are you having a, a speech here? Yes. What you will talk about? I will talk about uh, personalized medicine and that digital printing is the key to that. So uh, with digital printing, we are able to produce personalized medicine. Um, and you have some examples also? You, you just talked about the pizza, for example? Uh, yeah, you know, everything in, in daily life today is, is getting more and more individualized again. So we started from uh, individualized, getting into mass production, and, and now everything is going back into personalization, and we want to do that in pharma. Because, uh, uh, for example, uh, pizza, people can choose what they want on it, right? I exactly, and, and, but for the drug, yeah, you are forced to take what you get uh, yeah, off shelf. And uh, we want to, to make the patient able to get the medicine he, he exactly needs. To get, let's say, as much effectiveness, but to lower the side effects. And uh, we have in many countries already the so-called pay for performance in place. So that only the truck will be reimbursed, that works, and have less side effects. This is what we are aiming at with personalized medicine. There's a huge problem in the industry of pharma with the people who get the wrong medicine yeah. and who sadly die or get sick. We have false medication in, in, in hospitals. A huge amount of people, right? Yeah, so this, this also would, would help a lot. So as you see here, this is a barcode where all the information is included name of the patient, dosage, and then I'll also gives him a recommendation what he should not drink or, or, or take together with this uh, substrate. I'm just thinking, it's just a short idea, but maybe because you want to prevent uh, bad medication, or what do you call it? Um, uh, wrong medication, uh, false, medi false medication. False medication. You want to maybe, for example, give them a small dose and immediately measure the effect 
and then increase the dose so you can have all kinds yeah you can have the pills yeah, yeah. increasingly get more of this thing yeah it's and then much, it's much you can more know exactly how much they need for it's for much, example somebody doing no it's much more easier if uh, a patient comes into a hospital for example with parkinson today they test every day giving yeah increase the dosage but only with um, yeah let's say the standard pills they have here with with this possibility you can precise giving not only the the one gram or more it's it's maybe maybe 10 uh, it's just a tenth or what, what, whatever so it's much more easier to titrate this high for the patient easier and to reach the right th the right dosage um, the standard therapy right now giving one milligram, two milligram, and then they go up to maybe five or, or ten. Here, you can much more do it precisely. And um, if you look for uh, pediatrics, for example, this is um, for children. The hospitals, they do it right now manually. So they destroy the, the standard pill and then try to make an individual dosage but of course it's uh, a lot of work and um, yeah we have a lot of mistakes because the baby is a small human being yeah and you need to have exactly the right amount yeah. and what about people that have um, uh, maybe let's say uh, drug addicts that try to get off the drugs yeah and maybe they also need exactly to slowly get into a certain exactly. Exactly. Uh, way of getting off their addiction yeah, yeah. of course this is also uh, very handy for um, yeah, all kind of uh, drugs like uh, cannabis or, or whatever. But it would be nice to have it in combination with some kind of way with, where people maybe can test themselves at home to check after the pill, to check the results, without having to go back to the hospital every time to check, or maybe, I don't know, if that makes sense. That would yeah, be some... it depends. It has to be controlled by, by the experts. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot.